Um, and he's one. Still going off. <laughs> Magnificent way to spend a Sunday afternoon. <coughs> I had the boat ready. Ooh, it's really going off. Oh, this one's going off too. Oh. Anyway, this is the peak time for the prim down here in the river. As I said, I had the boat ready. I was going to go do a bit of river fishing further downstream. It was just too windy. But I'm glad I come down here. Bit of brim. Oh, this is going off too. It's just great fun. It's just really good too to put a line, especially when I do it on a regular basis, mainly weekends. And I just sort of need to get out there and throw a line in and, and just uh, just distract yourself from anything that's happening. So, anyway, let's hope this fish can distract me more. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see that. Woo! Ooh! Feisty. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. To Dom's Fishing Adventures. We're out here on a lazy Sunday afternoon. Oh, and he's pinning line. And, um, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's going right near the snags. This is going to be tough. Oh, no, where's he going? He's coming back. Oh, and I'm going for brim, and this looks like oh, really light line. <laughs> oh my god, here he is! Here he is! Look at this monster! Woo! Oh my god, look at this monster of a brim! Oh my god, um, I'm speechless that. Is gonna be good tucker. Whew. Lovely prim. I measure him up, he's definitely over 25 and he's fat and juicy. And I actually, oh man, whoop, there's a line out. And I actually changed the hook. I was using a normal brim hook, <laughs> but I put on a really tiny circle hook. That's what got him. I don't know if you can see it in the light here. It's a tiny circle hook. Got him right on the jaw. And just get him off. Oh God. Got him off, but the hook actually broke. Goodness me, that's how big his, that's how strong his jaw is. Anyway, I'm going to keep this one anyway. But the deal is, using little pieces of squid and little chopped up pieces of prawn, there you go. How about that? Yeah, beauty. So I've got the measuring sticker here on this pole. I actually found this down in uh, Anka Bay about seven months ago. So whoever left it behind, thanks very much. But this one here, yeah, he's gone 30, 34 centimeters. You can see that. So that's a beauty. And I wanted to do a catch of cook and brim. I usually don't like keeping them, but that one there is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful fish, and it really took the line off. The hard fighters, terrific. Right, so what I was doing, I was first using whole prawns, and I was just getting picked off. I actually chopped up 
the prawn pieces like that and then feed into some squid it's like a little kebab and then a bit more prawn now I know there's big ones out there so what happens if they take this piece off there's going to be a squid and enough there's going to be this piece here so that's just awesome I was using a really small small circle hook and because my intention is actually go, to go for trumpeters I wanted to do a catch and cook on trumpeters <laughs> believe it or not um, and he's on yep now he's come off so what I'm doing is putting up just a piece of prawn still with the skin on and a bit of squid I reckon there's one here. Here are a few helicopters in the background. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> there you go. So there was one on the end of my line. Tiny tot. Oh buddy. You can go in. So we've got something on, I think. Yeah, nothing too big. There he is. Oh, another tiny one. Another tiny brim. There you go. Good on you, mate. Thanks very much. Mm. What a drop. Beautiful. Right, so we're on again. I just cast it. It's actually miscast. It's like another brim. Another tiny top one. Great fun. Again, if the circle hook also is to released, thanks, buddy. Okay, so I've got something feisty here. I think it's just wrapped around the pole there. The boy, no, it's free. Oh, that one's taken off too. <laughs> Late afternoon session. Oh, this is a prim, lovely. Again, those circle hooks right on the corner of the mouth. Yeah, beauty. Thanks, mate. We'll see you next time. Okay, folks, this could be the last cast. Mind you, the last cast was probably half an hour ago by now. <laughs> oh, that line, a bit of line, that one. Oh, that's one, that's one, that's one. There you go. Yeah, so the circle did its job. It's a small one. It's just hanging around that boat, trying to find some structure. It's coming in right now. Yeah, definitely a brim. Oh yeah. Yeah, you see. Oh, it's actually, yeah, it's actually been side, side hooked on his fin. I call you Nemo, Nemo. I know. On the corner of his mouth. Alright, just take you off, mate. Beautiful fish. Thanks very much for the fight and the fun. You beauty. 
this one here, oh, I had something. I know, still got something I think. Actually moved a bit to the left. A bit of dead weight. I've hooked him up a while ago. Oh, hey, what's this? No, it's definitely a fish. Oh, now he's just woken up. <laughs> just woken up. Uh, this baby brimmer waking up when it's time for us to go to bed. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see you home for the cook up. Absolutely fantastic brim. I just love it. Just love it. Nice and relaxed. So we're back home for the cook up. This weather is just freezing, so I'll be pretty quick outside. But I've already scaled it and gutted this fine specimen of a black brim. Very simple ingredients with produce from the garden except the tomatoes and the garlic. Well, I've got garlic in the garden, but they're not quite ready yet. A bit of olive oil. So let's just go to the garden and um, get some fresh produce. Got a broccoli here. going to do a few little incisions to all the way down to the bone, both sides. Right, salt it up, putting the cabbage leaf down here. That's mainly to protect the fish from the cooking process so I don't burn the bottom bit. Put some oil all over the place too, put it even underneath it. Got all this chopped up, well, not chopped up, but this crushed garlic. I still got the husks on, that's all right. And just throw it all over the place, a couple in the cavity, and this here with the uh, parsley and the and the dill substitute. Let's break it up, let's put it in the cavity. There we go, a bit of parsley, a bit of tomato on the top here, and that will slowly infuse down, break down. Keep it nice and moist. The broccoli, oh, it's not a good idea to do this. I won't boil this up and serve it later on. That there will go in the oven. That will be ready in about maybe 10 15 minutes, about 220 heat. Aluminium foil, mate, it's going to be great. So I just put a little bit of water that will steam everything all up. That will be fantastic. drink and sit back 10-15 minutes we're cooking we're, we're having a good dinner oh look at that that's cooked to perfection absolutely beautiful baked brim do a quick taste test the broccoli here has gone a bit to a right the tomato made it nice and moist and it's the best experience to eat a fish straight from the bone what I'm going to do just going to peel off some of this flesh. I've even got the cat screaming out he wants some. There's no bloody chance. <laughs> so look at that. Just turn it upside down. That flesh, that's fine dining. Prime piece of fish in here. I'm just going to get some of the sauces here. Basically, just a juices and the water a bit of garlic there let's give it a shot it's beautiful there we go well yeah. the mum's really gonna enjoy this in the meantime I'm gonna have some too 
Dominic Petit. Make sure you like and subscribe to the show. See you next time and take it easy. Fish, Tucker. Fish, Tucker. Fish, Tucker, man. Fish, Tucker. Fish, Tucker. The Fish, Tucker, man. Fish, Tucker. Fish, Tucker. Fish, Tucker, man. Fish, Tucker. Fish, Tucker. The Fish, Tucker, man.